Hello darlings, welcome back. My name is Nicole Jolie for those of you who don't know me and in today's video I'll be talking about platforms which we can use to get more information on investing. So this video is for you guys who are starting out and don't really know where to go to look for information. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click on the like button as well as share this video with friends and family. In the description box below, you can also find the link where you can register your Easy Equities account. And if you don't know how to do that, you can also find the link of the video where I explain how to register your Easy Equities account. So the first place you can find information on a specific company which you're interested in is your Easy Equities app. So let's look at Woolworths for example. When you log into your application, you just search for the company which you're interested in and then you can click on that company. And scroll down, obviously over there you'll find your chart. As you've seen in my previous video which just shows you the movement of the price over a certain period when you scroll down some more you'll see three places where you can find more information so that's your Yahoo Finance your business live and as well as your easy equities research when you click on Yahoo Finance you can see that I have the application installed on my cell phone you can use the application or you can use the Chrome. Once it has loaded, you can see over here that you can find more in-depth information on Woolworths, right? So when you scroll through, you'll find there it will show you the previous close price, your open price, your bid, and so forth, right? When you go to the top you can see conversations and just look through there so it'll show you here people who look at the Woolworth stock also look at your shop light your Cecil MTN and so forth and then you can click on your statistics historical data profile financials and whatever you are interested in for that specific company so you can go to all these different tabs to get more info it's as simple as that right we are back on the easy equities platform we just look at yahoo finance where you can find more info and then the next one is your business live so as you can see over here they'll start with a summary or basically describing what Woolworths is about they also have the graph there or the chart rather um, which will show you the different prices over specific periods right and then over here as you scroll down you'll find more info as well like the same information we found or similar information we found on the yahoo finance right and just scroll down so basically over here they're comparing the different companies within the same industry so you'll find your mr price true words and so forth and then scroll down some more it shows you the open price of today the bid etc price to earnings ratio and so forth and as you scroll some more you will find whatever information you are looking for. Depending on how you do your analysis, you will decide which information is important to you and which is basically not so important. Back on the Easy Equities platform, I've clicked on the research and you'll see over here, when you scroll down, you basically have different articles, right? Um, and these are all to do with the, these all have to do with Woolworths Let's click on the first one to see what the easy equities um, Application or research tells us 
So over here, the heading says final clearance sale on SA clothing retailers. When you scroll down, you'll see that they have snippets for different companies. So Mr. Price, Truids, Foshini Group, Woolworths, and that's the one we're looking for. So basically it says Woolworths was not spared during the coronavirus pandemic which saw the local retailer report a staggering 54% drop in profits. So based on this and other information, of course, you will then decide if Woolworths is a good company for you to invest in. That's about it for the easy equities research or information section. Obviously, you will go in depth with the research because you would know what you are looking for in a company, right? So the next platform we have is Simply Wall Street. I've gone into the Woolworths Holdings as well, just to show you how they lay out their information. So firstly, you'll have the Summary tab, as you can see. It gives you an executive summary, which just is telling you a bit about Woolworths itself and as you scroll down you have what we call a snowflake analysis which shows you basically a summary of how the company is so what I mean by that is it will show you that okay maybe the dividends given out by this company are low or they high or stuff like that as you can see in Woolworths case the company does not really have a good history for dividends so it seems like they do not pay dividends at all right and then you can see the future of the company as well for the past of Woolworths you can see that they got a two out of six and then based on what based on how you analyzed a company you will decide if this is good for you or if this is good enough for you you can see these different companies or similar companies to the Woolworths um, holdings. They have their snowflake analysis over there. And then you can find the share price over here, market performance, and so forth. As you scroll down some more, you can find the news, valuation. You can see over here that there's the share price versus the fair value price this is just basically telling you what do they think the company is worth the current share price or do they think that it's overvalued and as you can see they think it's overvalued by 69.5 percent currently you guys will just go through the application a bit more what i like about this platform is that it has a discover tab so over here you'll find um different categories right so for example buy the dip and then they give you a short explanation of what they mean by buy the dip so these are companies which may present a buying opportunity after a dip in the share price right and then forecast high growth believe the hype and so forth so let's say you are looking for dividend paying companies right you can just scroll down and then click on dividend rock stars as you can see here you are able to choose the country which you are interested in so i've selected south africa right and then over here it will show you which companies have a good dividend paying history and potential future right so over here you can see vodacom group spa group anglo-american and so forth right this application has so much more to offer so please do check it out this is not a sponsored video or anything i do like this app because it has a lot to offer next up we have facebook groups which basically serve as a community of people who discuss investing strategies, they share tips, they share valuable information and so forth. So one of my favorite groups is the SA Easy Equities Investors Group. 
and over here you can see that people always share information they share um, tips and tricks in the markets they also post questions on these groups start conversations and things like that and then occasionally you have some <laughs> jokes passed around in the group you know we can't be serious all the time we'll be old and gray before we know it so if you are interested you can um follow the or you can join the group it is called SA Easy Equities Investors. Do be sure to check them out. And then finally, we have the obvious one, which is Google. If you do not know where to go to look for information, Google is obviously the best one. Because you can just click in a company which you're interested in. Let's say Woolworths Holdings. And over here, you'll get all the information you can get on Woolworths. So you can even go to news and there you'll find um, the most recent news on Woolworths. So sometimes we don't know, okay, there's a platform called um, News24 or Business Day or MoneyWeb. So if you come to Google and you just type in Woolworths Holdings or whichever company you are interested in, then you can find information. And that's about it. Those are the apps and platforms which I use to do research on certain companies and also to get investing ideas. If you guys find that these apps and platforms help you, please let me know. Thank you for staying until the end of this video. If you did like this video, please don't forget to share with friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Mwah.